Okay, you can start. Um, what can we say is... Okay, we are going to talk about uh, the story of Abel. First of all. And, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Um, yeah, it's quite hard to start being so many people here, so... Yes. yes. Um, say yes, something about no. the um, context, maybe? Yeah, well, the context. What I know is that... Uh, this story was written by uh, some girl uh, named Chopin. 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 Okay, Chopin. Thank you. Uh, in the middle nine. Um, yeah, eighteen, nineteenth century. Yeah, was it was the same. Mm. In Victorians. Yeah, Victorians. Uh, time. Yeah, the same time. The same Yeah, what I know about the author though though, is that uh, she was uh, kind of a symbol of feminism. What can yes. you say about that? she was kind of a symbol. Do you know why? What? Because when, when she was uh, just a child, she lost uh, her father. Yeah. So she has to grow uh, with, with women. Just with women. Yeah. So she only had a female Perception, mm -hmm. perception, things like that. Ideas, laws, beliefs, everything about being Independence women and their personality and like, of course to be strong, stronger yeah. than, than a, a man. So all of that uh, came to be an, uh, a, a base of the feminism. Yeah. She, she became like a symbol to it. Um, yeah, but it was implicit. Because even though she knew uh, what she was writing, uh, the people around her didn't know that. They they thought, okay, she was she, she's writing in such a beautiful style, but they weren't realizing that she was like hiding something. But that's the same that the mo most of the authors in in that in that period. Uh, yeah. Yeah. She because the same with the she could be doing it just for her and not to show what she thinks to the world. Yeah. Maybe in her, for her, it's important to write it, but it's not important for everyone to see how she feels or the way she thinks. Yeah. So it's more personal to her. Yeah, because she never wanted to uh, show herself. That's what you're talking about? Maybe. Yeah. I think that maybe... can't really know what she's thinking. Okay. Yeah. Maybe that wasn't the idea because I think that that was a little bit dangerous. The same that we've done with the other authors that oh, try yes. to to hide the the they are thinking. Yes, yeah. they they're trying to to express, to show their emotion, their opinions, but very carefully mm -hmm. because of the society. Yeah. And anything else to add? Yeah. Um, not, not about feminism, but... Uh, but maybe we can talk about the book itself, maybe, mm -hmm. the story. Because I think that... Okay. that <laughs> <laughs> because I think that the, the, that story is the is for, as my partner said, it's a personal story. But, so she can share about that. But in a, I think a poetry... Yeah. Poetry... Um, Perspective, yeah, this story I think has many symbolisms, yes. Uh, yes. such as uh, oppression and oppression, um, independence. I think that is. Um, I don't remember one symbol that is called attention a lot. It's the heart attack. Uh -huh. I don't know. Do you know about that? Yeah, yeah. And also the marriage. Yeah, when I when I read the book, the story, I realized that it was uh, a physical heart trouble. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also, it was emotional. Yes. Yeah, it was emotional. It was kind of a depression, something like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because of when, when she was looking out the window, she kept saying free. Mm -hmm. Like maybe she was um, stuck in this place with her husband, where now she thought was gone. Yeah. She was free to, to, to be the way she is, the way she wants to. Yeah, even though he was tender and loving. At times. Ah, you're sometimes right. she loves him. Yeah. Uh, sometimes. Uh, I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> also, I think that the key word of this, uh, this book is freedom. 
or she said free. I don't know. She, she, felt, she felt free, free after. Free, yes. but I think that's the same that, that we were talking about uh, this kind of feminism. Uh, because uh, this, yeah. this, this, right. this also that. is known because of, uh, she always do this. I mean, she always reflect her, her life in, on what she writes about. You mean, you mean that the way she, <laughs> she writes? Right. Yeah, always the, the story that she writes is related to her life. Yes. Yeah, especially this one. Yes. Yes. Um, do you still think? Uh, <laughs> no, he's got many ideas, but he kind of like makes them. Because I got an idea that this book can. Uh, you can get three keywords to describe this book in particular, or story, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Uh, because you have uh, this word is she says free right yeah. mm -hmm. uh, you have freedom uh, you have oppression mm -hmm. and you have uh, independence. independence those three words you can use it to describe the, the this story easily yeah. uh, and uh, um, for me for for my humble point of view uh, uh, the entire story is only based on her her oppression, her self oppression. Because while she was married. Well, she while she was married. While she was married. Yeah. Okay. And I didn't see any kind of oppression from the men. Exactly. Yeah, it, it, it is not it's a uh, stated oppression. in the book. It's a personal oppression. Yeah. Yeah. She never said that the, the, the guy was bad. Yeah. Yes. And when she, she, when she said that she's free. No, she tries to to explain that, that he so that she will live again, but alone. She never talks about another man to maybe or to or, make them or, or or another family. Yeah, yes. this idea of uh, freedom makes a uh, huge sense for me because uh, it is. I'm sorry, it is uh, uh, represented. Uh, with the window, when when she sees uh, through through the window, and she sees many many, and she describes many things that maybe she was thinking, okay, I can do everything I want to. Uh, but yeah, she was saying, but thinking, maybe I can rebuild my life again. Yeah, that's it. But she she explained that it's alone. She never talks about another person. I mean, it's not the man the problem. I mean, the, the no. problem was the 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 marriage the itself. Kind of uh, oppression. No, it's not an oppression. It's like the the marriage itself. Yeah, it's like the the that you have to, to be with the other person that you have an like a compromise. Yeah, you have a compromise. Engagement. During yes, no, because during the while she's describing this and saying. The, describing out what's outside the window and saying that she's free she says that um, the both men and women also kind of um, not not oppress each other but they they hold each other back they don't let them do what they want it's not it's on, it's not only the husband that does that to the wife or the wife that does that to the husband but they do it to each other yeah, so both of them deserve freedom. Exactly. Yeah, even though they are married. I mean, marriage represents uh, oppression. And, uh, and once you are not married anymore, maybe you are free. That's why I don't want to get married. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, to, I think that to sum up, I don't know, uh, could be the final of the book when uh, she started to feel free because the, the man is dead but when he sorry when she realized that he's alive okay it's, it's, it's like uh, she started to I don't know to think about the all the uh, the thoughts the plans that she had to to start a new life that's but yes yeah, yeah, but stop it in that time that the man is alive because uh, she's still uh, married. She's yes. still bound. 
Yes. So she can't do everything that she was thinking about doing, the having the winter days and the spring days and everything yes. alone. Mm -hmm. She's still with someone, so she still has to continue in that profession. Yes. So the feeling of oppression came back when the man who was dead was not that. Yeah. Maybe, because also <laughs> that when the doctor said she her heart attack was from happiness. Yes. yes. But in the end it was not. It was not happiness. It was the feeling of oppression coming back to yeah, to real life. It's the, the end of the of the that's your, that's your Yeah, of course. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying it's a fact. Yes. Uh, I just think. Yeah. 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 It's open to interpretation. And also, we can see as a metaphor that um, <laughs> that <laughs> 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 that uh, she she thought about. Uh, she, she thought about this new life, and when the, when her husband uh, appears, this life uh, is so yeah. yeah. So that's why she died, because her new life disappeared. Mm -hmm. So, what is life? Then? Yeah, <laughs> it was like a 10 minute new life. Yes, yeah. so she, 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 uh, she got off a, a wave, and then after ten minutes, <laughs> after ten minutes, she got a more a more wave in her back. The, do you get the, the, the thing? Yeah. yeah. So it's not an eternal happiness, but it's more. It's more being in a hole and dig more and find <laughs> nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for me, I think it's that she, she yeah. found, she found, I'm sorry, she found, <laughs> I think she found freedom when she died. It's, oh. it's my interpretation. Oh. Wow. It's my interpretation that because sometimes it's, it's better to be dead. Um, um, so rather, rather than being uh, uh, with a person you don't want to be, you, you don't want you to be. To me, with. it's better being alone than with bad company? I think that, that better than with somebody that you don't want to live, I think that it's the life that you don't want to live. Because the problem wasn't the, the guy. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Plus the problem her. was her life yes. that yes. she had. Yeah. It, it was my interpretation. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But you're right. There's a relationship, sorry, that relationship, not relation, <coughs> that I read. That I don't know if, if there's a relation that uh, the author was born in St. Louis. Yeah, because it's St. Louis, Missouri, and then she moved to Louisiana. But the thing is that Louis, Louisiana, and the name of the protagonist the Bernard, yeah. is Louis. Louis. Yeah. So you you, you went back to, you, to your own point because you said yeah. at the beginning that. She was uh, her life. You said at the beginning that uh, there were many relations, relations, sorry, between the story itself and the, and the historical context. Yeah. So this is some, yeah, this is some also interesting. Point. Also, she said that uh, the story of her sisters, uh, she always tried to uh, show show them in, through her writing. What do you mean? She had a lot of sisters. Okay. I don't know how many. Like six. Yeah. Around so five. The, story five, of, six. the story of her sisters, see, she tries to show them to the. Yeah, of course, and this story was represented by uh, Josephine. Josephine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Josephine jo was her sister's name. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. We have the window, we have the heart attack, we have the marriage, there's something that we miss. Maybe the train accident, because the father of the oh, auto yeah. that died in a train accident. Yeah. The the same as the Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Or I didn't know that. The father of Kate died in the same accident. 
but that same kind of accident. Oh my really? god. Yeah. I didn't know that went off to Melbourne. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, because I, I read that uh, just he died, he passed away, but I didn't know the, the, the main cause. The reason? Yeah. Wow. Well. So I, I had some doubts about the creativity of yes. this girl. <laughs> and she, just, uh, it's she was creative at the end. It's, it's like a... Yeah, it's her, it's her life. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe also she tried to, to show this independence that the woman can have without men because she had a beautiful life without her father. It's not necessary maybe to to get a man in, 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 to be in a Yeah, it's not necessary, it's necessary to be engaged, uh, to be happy or to be free. Yes. At that time uh, it was... To do everything in uh -huh. Not really. We oh, have yeah. to sum it up to finish this. Yes. We, do, we don't have anything to say. Uh, it was a jungle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, like we said already, uh, this book is about a woman that uh, needs freedom, but this freedom is something is something that it's in, is not. It's not explicit. Not the, ah. Implicit, explicit. Real. It's not completely real, it's just her, her imagination. imagination. Yes, it's her imagination. <laughs> imagination. <laughs> SpongeBob. Could be her imagination based on her life. Yeah. Yes. As we also said, the train, there is many um, factors that are true yeah. to her personal life. So it could be a made up story with part. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's cute, like, but it's, uh, we need to read more about her. Yes. It's an inspiration. Feminism? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes, of course. <laughs> Alright, we're done. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Human, please